down up 12 E and do that four times. I'm going to keep the index on the 12 E though. Um, when I bring that 15 B, it drops right on the tip of my first finger because I'm touching the B. Just stuff like that, you know, through the pentatonic. Number six, 15B bend. You're gonna alternate pick all of this. And then go 12E, 15, 12B, 15, 14, 12G, 14, 12D, 14, 13, 12A, 15E, so that gives you 12D, uh, G and B, 14D vibrato. So we have. Good little string jump at the end. And number seven, our last one. It's more stylistically, he does stuff like this in solos, but. Um, you can hit the open E, let it ring if you want, but the riff is all on the high E. Girls, 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 he does that one string riff. Go 12, 14, pull 12 on the E, down up, and take that concept, apply it to 10, 12, 10 on the same string. 8, 10. 7, 8. 5, 7. 3, 5, but pull off to the open as well. Slow. So your pick's going. You know what I mean? And you can play around. You know. Oops. Dang it. You know, move this stuff around on different strings, but anyways, I really had fun doing this lesson. I, I haven't done any CBTs, you know, like this. You gave me creative freedom in it, which was cool, but I got to kind of dissect, you know, Tracy's style playing and mix. And like I said, you know, they're similar in some ways, you know, but we got to work a little bit on the tone. Hopefully that will dial you in somewhat close. It's tough, dude. They got their own amps and, and pickups and all that stuff. Um, and they change per album. I was messing with them, like I said, for a long time, but I had my Rocktron and you don't have the same effect unit as me. Um, but I did have a blast doing this and I feel like we covered a good little spectrum of like their, their loose, loose style and then like the tight, choppy style and then you know, a few different uh, garden variety riffs from each of them solo-wise. Um, so, have fun with it. I had fun doing it. Thanks for trusting my ear, man. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, bud.